Why Norway is so expensive? Let me explain this to you in this video. Home to a gorgeous fjords, endless forests, the northern lights, Norway definitely has a lot to offer. It is also globally known for being one of the most expensive destinations in the world. There are many reasons for this, but the most important one is the cost of labor here is very high because most products and services entail the implication of human labor. The cost of these products and services is increased. For Norwegians, high prices are usually compensated by high wages. But for the foreigners, visiting Norway can be an expensive experience. That being said, some things in Norway are extremely expensive, while some other things are surprisingly cheap. Continue watching to learn how expensive Norway really is, and the answer will surprise you. <laughs> Why Norway is so expensive for foreigners? Prices of goods or services are the product of the cost associated with producing or providing them. The single most important cost which makes Norway so expensive is the cost of labor. This is especially true for some low-paying jobs like the cleaners, hotel receptionists, grocery store clerks. To illustrate this, let's compare a lemonade stand here in Norway versus the same lemonade stand in Italy. To serve this lemonade, at very least, the owner will have to buy lemon press, the lemons, sugar, and serving cups. He or she will have to hire an employee to work in the stand. It is very likely that here in Norway, the owner will have to pay slightly bit more for the machinery, raw materials, and serving cups. For example, lemons and sugar. Both have to be imported to Norway. However, the most significant differentiator comes when the owner has to pay a minimum wage to the person who works at the stand. And if this minimum wage will be around 1130 euros in Italy, in Norway the same minimum wage would be around 2500 euros per month. Yes, the wage cost here in Norway is much higher than, for example, in Italy. The result is that the price of the producing each serving of lemonade will be much higher here in Norway, increasing the price that the customer has to pay. This example also illustrates how local prices can be quite affordable for Norwegians with their salaries and can be really expensive for the foreigners. A Norwegian who is getting paid a Norwegian salary will not find that lemonade really expensive. Not too expensive. But for someone from Italy who is making half of the Norwegian salary will find it really Really expensive. Sounds expensive, not interested. Ranking Norway on the Big Mac Index. When economists look at productivity and life standards across countries, they like to apply the theory of purchasing power parity. For example, it states that the basket of goods you purchase for $20 in US supermarket should cost about 17 euros in Europe, giving it an exchange rate of 0.85 euros for one US dollar. If it's higher or lower, it can be said that the currency is under or overvalued. In 1986, the magazine The Economist decided to create an index to look particularly into this. Known as Big Mac Index, for their basket of gates, they decided to go with a Big Mac which is served across the world. In addition to providing a light-hearted example of how to apply complex economic theory to practice, it also gives us a price of Big Mac in countries across the world. In general, developed countries with a high standard of living ranked at the top, while developing countries are further down the list. At time of filming of this video, Norway was ranked the second, only after Switzerland. How Norway is affordable for Norwegians Despite being an extremely expensive country for the foreigners, the Norwegians can live quite a comfortable life there. This is largely because of most Norwegians are making a decent salary from their day job, which offsets high prices. This is best illustrated by comparison how much the Norwegians tend to pay for some basic goods and services in relation to their income compared to other countries. Average salary. According to Norway's Bureau of Statistics, the average salary after tax in Norway in 2021 was about 5,520 US dollars per month. Let's compare it to an average salary in some other countries. In the UK, we have an average salary equivalent to 2,740 US dollars per month, while in Italy, an average monthly salary is equivalent to 2,215 US dollars. While in the US, the average monthly salary salary would be 3,800 US dollars. Based on these figures, we can tell that average Norwegian makes 11% more than the average US citizen, 35% more than the average British citizen, and almost 47% more than the average Italian citizen per month. Let's have a look how 
average Norwegian salary holds up against the others in terms of basic everyday expenses. For this example, let's have a look at three most common expenses – rent, gas and electricity. Starting with rent, let's have a look how much it will cost to rent a standard 50 square meters apartment, 538 square feet studio apartment by US standards. Obviously, there is a huge regional difference depending on the location, but on average in Norway the rent for such an apartment will be about 1135 US dollars. For the US, it was surprisingly high. The average price would be 1200 US dollars. In the UK, this rent will be equivalent to 850 US dollars in average. I'm not talking about rent in London here. And in Italy, on average, it will be 670 US dollars per month. Petrol. Next, let's consider buying petrol for a car with a tank of 50 liters that needs filling, let's say, twice a month. At the time of filming, the gas price in the US dollars per liter was 2 in Norway, 1.7 in the UK, 0.75 in the United States, and 1.85 in Italy. Let's make a little table here. In Norway, for this 100 liters a month, you will pay approximately 200 US dollars, while in the UK you will pay 170 US dollars. In the US this price will be the lowest, 75 US dollars. And in Italy we have the highest price, 180 US dollars. Finally, let's consider the cost of electricity. The electricity use depends on many factors, but predominantly here we are talking about heating and warm water. Also, climate here plays a significant role. Norway is located in a colder climate where people tend to use more electricity for heating and warm water, which results in a lot higher electricity use. Looking at the energy use per capita per month and the cost of kilowatt in US dollars in selected countries, we can come up to this table. The results. If we look at these common expenses as the percentage of average monthly salary, we can see that Norway is not that expensive on a Norwegian salary. Wow! For the rent here in Norway, we will have 27% of an average monthly salary, where in the UK it's 31% and in the US it's 32%. For the gas, we will pay 5% in Norway, 6% in the UK and 2% in the US. And for the electricity, we will pay the same 4% from an average monthly salary in all selected countries. Things that are really expensive in Norway. Despite being affordable on a Norwegian salary, there are still some things here which are really expensive no matter how you look at it. Alcohol. Prices on alcohol and tobacco are exceptionally high in Norway. According to a survey by the Wall Street Journal, the average price of beer in a supermarket in Oslo is $3.45. This is more than double than of most US and European cities. One important reason here is that the alcohol is heavily taxed by the Norwegian government in an effort to curb alcoholism. Driving license. Getting a driving license in Norway will cost you a lot. The total sum, including required courses fees and also some driving lessons, will cost you about 3,500 US dollars. This is quite a lot compared to other European countries where the same thing will cost you about 1,500 US dollars dining out. Eating out is quite an expensive event here in Norway, so we found that eating out in Norway will cost you 61% more than the same thing in the US, and around 50 or even 60% more than in some other European countries. Higher wages or not, eating out in Norway is not cheap even with a Norwegian salary. Things that are cheap in Norway. I know it sounds hard to believe, but still there are some things in Norway which are really cheap. Electricity. The Norwegians use a lot more more electricity than the Northern Americans or European peers. In large part due to the cold climate, the majority of heating and warm water being provided by electricity. Luckily, electricity is cheap in Norway. The price for kilowatt is 0.099 US dollars here in Norway, which is 44% cheaper than the US and up to 60% cheaper than the most European countries. Salmon. Norway is well known for its high quality salmon. The lean, 
red meat is one of the sought-after fish in the world, but also one of the most expensive. Norway is home to a booming farmed salmon industry, which makes salmon cheaper here than in most countries. The average price of salmon fillet per kilo is 21 US dollars in the most central European countries. The price in Norway is about the same, but considering a high Norwegian salary, salmon seems more affordable. Education in Norway. High quality education in Norway is offered at a fraction of the price compared to most countries. For children, both primary school and high school is free in Norway. In addition, university students in public universities in Norway are paying only an annual fee of around 200 US dollars for university education. Also, any student enrolled to a university program in Norway is offered a combination of a student loan and scholarship at favorable terms. This prevents students from becoming bogged down with the mountains of student debt. Nature. Lastly, but one of the best things in Norway, which is for free, is its beautiful nature. Norway believes that everyone should have the right to enjoy the outdoors. Knowing as the right to roam, you can enjoy and explore Norwegian outdoors and camp literally everywhere you want, as long as you understand and follow some basic rules and regulations. First, show respect for nature, be considerate and thoughtful, and leave it the exact way you found it. Second, when you're camping, make sure you will keep at least 150 meters from the nearest inhabited house or a cabin. Third, if you want to stay at the same place for more than two nights, you need to ask the permission from the landowner, except in the mountains or very remote areas, as long as you're following those rules you are free to explore and consume the Norwegian nature, including national parks, free of charge. Let's get to conclusion. While Norway is clearly an expensive country, don't be discouraged by the surface level high prices. Do your research and plan your stay carefully. And you might find yourself surprised how affordable it actually is. If you want to know more about traveling to Norway, you should definitely watch my travel channel. It will definitely help you a lot to plan your next trip to Norway in all detail. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you find this one useful too. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you in my next videos. Bye! Bye.